In this video, we will look at fillets and chamfers. A fillet is a rounded corner and a chamfer is an angled corner. Let's look at certain examples. On the right hand side, we have fillets and on the left, we have chamfer. Let's start the chamfer. If these are the original lines, if you have a horizontal line and a vertical line and if you go in for a chamfer edge, then you will be getting a straight line. So basically this becomes like an angled corner. The same thing if you do it as a fillet, you will get like a rounded corner. So that's the major difference between a fillet and a chamfer. Then onwards, we have trim and no trim. Now let's look at the examples of trim and no trim. Now if you see these corners, here both the lines are joined with this particular line which is your fillet whereas the original lines they remain wherever they are but here it is just having another corner which will not be joining the original two lines so here basically you're saying no trim so let us see different examples and let us see this practically I start rhinos I'm using the default as mm as we are preparing for jewelry I take four poly lines you can press shift to draw a straight line basically to start ortho and this time I intersect them also so basically I have four lines now I'm talking about the intersection point over here since we are working with curves you can go into curves and under fillet you have fillet curves so I click on this now by default the radius is 2 you can always change it so let's say I click on it and I take a radius of 3 for example, enter. By default join is yes, trim is yes. So I will take and it's asking me to select the first curve. So I select the first curve and I select the second curve. So you see the both the lines are now joined and look at the edge. So this becomes like a rounded edge. Let's try this again on the other side. I can press space to repeat the previous command I select the first line and the second line look at this again it is joined I again return the same thing but this time I do not want to join it so I keep join to no I select the first curve and the second curve now you see it's trimmed but this particular curve is an individual curve so you have one curve is this and one curve is the end other one whereas the curve which joins these two lines is not joined to both of them this time join is no at the same time trim I will also make it no so now I click the first curve and the second curve you see these curves remain there itself a new arc is created to join both of them but this arc is an individual curve at the same time it is not linked to the other lines like this and this because I have said trimmed as no now let's take another example Let's say again I'm taking the same four lines. But this time I will move the top line a little above. You see this. So now we go to curve and we go into fillet curves. This time join I say yes, radius 2. I select the first curve and I select the second curve. So you see since join yes and trim was yes, it trimmed the extra line and it joined the two lines. Had I not done that, let's say I do the same command, but this time I go to trim and I make it no. I select the first line and the second line. You see since the radius is only two, you are getting a line which is basically incomplete over here. Look at this, which means we will have to increase the radius. Let's say I take radius six and I hit enter again the first line again the second line now you see properly it has joined this line to this segment but again this is an individual segment it is not joined to these two lines so that happens when you give a very small number for the radius now this time again I say trim yes I select the first line select the second line and this is trimmed and you are back and it's joined also now let's look at chamfer edges I'll zoom to one corner I go into curve under curve I go into chamfer curve under the command prompt it is asking for the distance so when I click on the distance you need to give the first chamfer distance so let's say first I'll be selecting the vertical line and I want it to start at 2 mm so let's say at this particular point so I will write 2 and enter and the second chamfer let's say I want it at 5 
so I'll press 5 that means this will be 1 2 3 4 5 at this particular point enter so join I will say yes trim I will say yes so I click the first line and I click the second line you can see this they were intersecting over here now this is the first second third fourth fifth you see this it's starting at this particular point whereas it was over here so this is the first box second box this is there you go completion of 2 so this is 2 comma 5 at the distance of 2 comma 5 so it depends on in which order you are selecting the lines also so I'll again do a control Z let's say for example I will again go into curve I will again go into chamfer curve this time instead of distance 2 let's say I'll make it 5 you need to consider the point from the intersection point 5 up and I go enter whereas second distance I'll make it 2 and I'll make it enter join I will again say yes trim again yes the vertical line and the horizontal line so there you go make sure that when you are selecting it you do not select the lower segment first you need to select the upper segment first if I select the lower segment first and then this line you see your chamfer appears downwards whereas you want the chamfer to appear upwards so that's why I selected the first line up and then the second line okay now let's say for example we take a star and we want to corner its edges now let's say for example I will take a star over here I'll draw it in the top view starting at 0 number of sides 6 okay fillet corners over here you don't want these you don't want these sharp edges so what you'll have to do is you'll have to come up explode it make it individual segments then you go into curve you go into fillet curve you take a radius the radius should be less because so 0 0.2 I take as the radius I select the first I select the second so you there you go these are round edges so imagine I'll have to do this six times now rather than doing that I'm just doing a control Z and I have this back now what I will do over here is I'll go to curve and I go into fillet corners so it picks up every sharp edge and basically fillets it so I go to fillet corners now select the uh, poly curves to fillet so that's the poly curve I press enter what radius let's say I'm looking at 0 point 0 0.4 enter look in one shot all my edges turn into rounded fillet corners look at this and I can extrude the curve extrude curve and there you go to start with in the top view I will make a rectangle now I will explode it so that these become individual segments now these are individual segments now we'll be using the same option of fillet curves so let's say I go back to curve I go to fillet curve now on the radius of 2 I click the first line click the second line there you go it's joint also again I press the space bar 1 2 joint space there you go I've converted the rectangle into fillet curves now I will extrude it so I keep it selected I go into extrude extrude curve enter and I do not want it both sides just one side so I extrude it so now if you see you have converted it basically into I'll go into for example shaded there you go I've made it into 3d so this is basically how we work we make we make 2d lines and then we convert it into 3d okay now what I will do is I will take a straight line in the front view I will select it I will rebuild this let's say I want four points degree three okay points on F10 is a shortcut for points on I select these points and I move it a little bit I make sure that the entire line is intersecting my object look over here it's in the center you can see this in the right view also it's in the center I'll just click on this just to make sure that we have it properly in the center so you can see that that the line is properly in the center okay and now I will again say extrude curve so I will extrude this extrude this time I want to extrude both the sides and I click so there you go extrude it 
now I will split the object so I will go into edit and I say split I will split the object enter with cutting object is this so I will split it and this part and I delete and I take this part and delete you see it's still hollow over here so I'll just do a control Z the split is already done and now I'll again do a split the reverse side that means again I'll do edit and again I will go into split select the objects to split I need to split this object enter because I want the top part to remain and select the cutting object this time I will select the upper part of it enter so now when I select this object and I delete this you see I have the cover over here but this is a different surface and this is another surface so it's not joint so now what I will do is I will select both of them so I select both of these poly surfaces edit and join so there you go two surfaces or poly surfaces join into one open poly surface so now when I select it they are joined okay so I have this object now ready with me if from from the bottom if you see it's hollow but over here if you see it's basically joined now we'll go into solids under solids we have an option of fillet edge and I go into fillet edge now I want to select the top edge I want I do not want the sharp edges I want a fillet effect for it so I select on it you see only one line is got selected now instead of me going and selecting all these segments one at a time what I will do is I will select chain edges and I will click so the entire edges if you see they have got selected and I uh, the radius enter the default radius was 1 I have not changed I again press enter and enter now if you look at the edges you see you do not have these sharp edges look at this now the same thing if I do a control Z and instead of that I go into solid into fillet edge I go into chamfer edge again chain edges again I take the entire edge I hit the enter sign and again 1 mm again enter enter now if you look at this here you have more like an angle instead of a rounded edge compared to the fillet look at this so we just wanted to show you that you can create fillet edges and chamfer edges with curves as well with surfaces